And speaking of ownership, again, we talked about it already, but uh, in 2023, uh, you became a laundromat owner. So congratulations again Thanks. on that. Um, I also, however, I buried the lead because last year you also became a mom. So <laughs> double congratulations on that. Yeah, thank you. Um, I, I guess, how is, how is this? It's kind of a new chapter for you. How has it influenced your perspective as far as entrepreneurship and that whole work-life balance that we hear so much about? Has that uh, affected you or has that changed any any uh, perceptions that you may have? Um, you know, work-life balance, like, I don't know. When, when um, I was looking at the store that we bought, I also was about to start consulting for um, a, a laundry company at the same time. And... Um, at the at the time, my son was four or five months old, so that was there was no balance there, you know. <laughs> it, um, and then we bought the the store and we operated it as it was for a few months, and then we did renovations, and so still consulting, um, uh, about thirty hours a week um, yeah. on the side, yeah. you know. So it was kind of just insanity, um, you know. But I think it goes back to you just have to decide, like, it, what are you committing to? Uh, you know, and I think um, one of the things that um, caused me to say, yeah, let's let's do this with the lawn with the laundromat was I knew that I was going to need more flexibility in my schedule. And uh, while operating a laundromat is by no means a passive business. It does offer some flexibility in terms of when you spend your time working on it. And so to me, that was very appealing um, because I was, I've was i been working with women entrepreneurs um, and all sorts of business segments. And um, I wanted, I knew I wanted to continue to do that and knew that I would have some capacity to also run laundromats. Mm -hmm. but I needed the flexibility on the time. And mm -hmm. so that has worked out pretty well um, for me to, you know, work with business owners, um, keep the laundromat going and still, you know, have time and flexibility for my son. Right. So yeah, it's, it's worked well, but it was very intentional on my mm -hmm. part. Like I said, mm -hmm. look, I'm going to continue to be coaching entrepreneurs. Right. Uh, you know, I'm a mom. Mm -hmm. How do I, how do I make all this work? And so I said, you know what, a laundromat is going to allow me that flexibility. Mm -hmm. Right. Certainly another benefit of, of laundromat uh, ownership. Sure.